I'm going to go and be set up with the internal mics, but let me turn the uh, uh, low cut off. Where are we? Go up here. Off, we'll turn that to off. I'll exit out of that. We'll also go down to compressor limiter. We'll make sure that's off. And one more thing, if I was to go back here, where was that? I just missed it. Auto level. Let me just turn that to be off as well. And we'll go back to the main screen. Okay, now the quality of the recorded file will be determined underneath the menu, record, and recording format. Now we have six different wave settings going from the lowest, which is actually standard CD quality recording. That's the, actually the lowest recording wave file you can make. We can then go up to 44.1K, but at a higher bit depth of 24 bits. That's a high resolution. We then go up to 48K in either 16 bits or 24 bit resolution. And finally, 96 kilohertz sampling rate at both of those bit depths, 16 and 24. Wave files are the ones you want to be going for if you want to have no compromise quality. Obviously, uh, the higher the better, but just know that your file size will grow accordingly. And, and keep in mind that some sample rates and bit depths uh, may not even be able to be played back on your computer uh, depending on your particular sound card. 44.1K 16-bit is a no-brainer. It sounds great and I would recommend going with that unless you have other specific needs in working maybe with a partner who might need higher quality uh, recordings. Now beyond the wave choices are MP3 formats. These are great if you want to record for longer times. MP3 files are approximately 10 times smaller than .wav files and these might be a great choice if you're concerned about running out of memory uh, on your card. Now if you're recording for a podcast, your final file will probably need to be an MP3 file. You could record directly to this format and uh, or you could record to a WAV file and then make that change later on in editing. Your choice between those two. But I just love the fact that you can record in the MP3 format right out of the box. If, I mean, if you're doing a lecture or a sermon and record in that format, you could drop that card out of your H4M, drop it into a laptop and then upload that finished MP3 file <laughs> even before you left uh, the podium. Very, very cool. Directly below the WAV recording formats, we have the MP3 formats going from several different bit rates, from the very smallest file size, which will obviously give you the least quality, all the way up to, I believe it's up to 320, is that right? Yeah, 320 KB per second. Now CD quality is around 160, some people would argue more and less, but uh, if you go beyond that, you can also use a variable bit rate if you wish. That will adjust the bit rate on the fly depending on the, uh, on the program that you're actually recording. My recommendation on all of this is to just make some test recordings. The old trade-off between file size and quality always comes up here. And uh, I choose different recording formats depending on, uh, on what I'm doing. I'll record, say, a business meeting with a VBR um, MP3 file and maybe a classical guitar piece with a 96K 24-bit wave. Different file types for different uh, applications. Now, if you're fuzzy about what to use and you just have a big old card, so memory is really not an issue, then I just go with CD quality 44.1K 16-bit waves. So with that being said, let's go back to the very first setting here, which is a WAV file, 44.1K and 16-bit. That's basically the same recording quality as what you find on an audio CD. Now I'll press exit a few times to get back out of this all the way back up to the main screen here. And uh, we're back home. Now, by the way, you can use the shortcut right down here, the fourth shortcut to get directly to that screen that we used to get to from here. Remember we went to menu, uh, record, record format, and it was a few button pushes to get there where if I go back to the main screen, you can just hit the fourth shortcut right here and bang, you get straight there. Now, if I go back to the main screen here, you can see that we have a remaining time, a remaining recording time, given the current recording format. Now, if you use a high quality format, then the remaining time here will shrink accordingly. That makes sense, right? Right now we're at 134.47, where if I go over here and then select the very highest 
quality recording we can select that check it out where our remaining time has shrunken accordingly here let's just go back to the very first setting we had which was 44.1k at 16 bit <laughs> 